Hey guys, so today we're going to take a look at the SEMA X5C 6-axis 2.4G quadcopter, which I got from Amazon for about $50. The quadcopter is very lightweight, um, kind of resembles a mini Phantom, sort of. Uh, I noticed right away that the quality of the camera was very poor, not usable at all. Um, so I decided to take it off. And to take it off, you unscrew these two um, screws on the bottom that are attached to the battery plate. And you just take the screws out like so, and the camera comes off, and then you simply remove the power cord that's attached to the quadcopter. And that's pretty much it. So I decided to replace the stock camera with the Polaroid Q, which is a $99 action camera. But first I wanted to disassemble it. So to do that, you unscrew the back using a coin. Um, and then with a small flathead, you simply pry open the face plate like so. And you'll see that it's attached by adhesive. And then um, you unscrew the four tiny screws in the front and make sure you don't lose these. Very important to put that in a, in a safe place. And those come right off. Um, and then this part's a little bit tricky, but there's kind of like these brackets that are holding the body together. And you kind of have to squeeze it a little bit and finagle it kind of to loosen the casing. And once you do that, it should come off, you know, it may require just a little bit of force. It comes off like so. And you'll notice that um, kind of like sandwiched in between the top and bottom casing is this uh, rubber, kind of rubber protector piece, I guess. Um, and it basically just peels off of the lens and the, the back ports. And that's pretty much the Polaroid Cube, like a naked Polaroid Cube. It's very lightweight, the magnet isn't on there anymore, and all the buttons are accessible. So, so now that we have the Polaroid Cube out of its casing, it's time to mount it onto the SEMA X5C. Um, as you can see, it fits pretty much where the stock camera used to be, right over that lip. Um, that would be pretty much the center. Um, so in order to mount it, I simply took some gaff tape and just a small strip is all you really need. Um, and you just kind of fold it over like so. And it's important to get kind of a thick, kind of a thick um, piece of tape so that it goes over that little lip and attaches to the bottom of the Polaroid. And you'll see in a second how that works. So we put it right behind the lip of the um, battery compartment. You see right there. And you can also use um, double stick tape, you know, like kind of industrial strength double stick tape, but this seems to work just fine. Um, so you kind of center it, eyeball it a little bit, you center it right over that lip, like so, underneath that arrow. And again, the camera is super lightweight, so it actually sticks, you know, it sticks to the, to the X5C pretty easily. Um, to reinforce it, I use one of these simple Velcro uh, ties and you just slip it underneath the camera, like so, and simply strap it on to the center and just lock it in. And get it nice and tight. Obviously, you don't want the thing to fall off in midair, so you want to get it pretty tight in there. And that's pretty much it. Get that nice and centered. 
that's how you mount the Polaroid Cube on the X5C. Now, because um, there's obviously more weight to the quadcopter now that the uh, Cube is on it, even though it's stripped down, it's still a lot heavier than the stock camera. So it's important to make the quadcopter even lighter. So to do that, I took off the uh, prop guards and now the quadcopter is a, a bit lighter and the motors don't have to fight as much to keep the camera in the air. So you'll get longer flight times, approximately seven minutes. Um, that's what we averaged. Um, and that's going kind of full throttle in the air. So let's take it out for a spin.